We just lost transmission power. It just like won't go into forward or reverse. This is Kayleen. She loves sailing and is trying to convince me as well. Kira's not convinced, but Carl knows what's up. I lost both my feet, so obviously we called the boat Footloose. Welcome back to All About Spray. Finally. Just uh, avoiding the ferry, some chaos. We're heading out to Refuge Cove tonight. Um, this week's been crazy. We put the fuel tank in, um, got it professionally cleaned out, and put in some fresh fuel, and she started up first try. It's such a relief. Um, bled the engine and got all the air out. She's looking good. Um, we just fueled up at the fuel dock, and we're off to use the boat again. Stoked. We left the marina slightly overconfident, yeah. put the sail up, and headed towards Refuge Cove. Really precise. Brandon added some here. shock treatment to the diesel, recommended by Leaf, our fuel expert. Five. Count to five. You're good. It's slack tide right now, so the boy is on into fish. Just off the south tip of Quadra, and we're just putting the rods out. I would totally bite this. <laughs> we didn't get very far. Um, just like 20 more minutes after fishing and we started hearing a squealing noise and we just lost um, transmission power. It just like won't go into forward or reverse. It just the shaft spinning but we're not going anywhere. First, we decided to check if there's anything wrapped around the prop. And of course, as a commercial diver, I forgot my dive gear. We felt pretty vulnerable. The wind was dying quickly, the current was building over two knots, and we were slowly being pushed towards shore. We could have called Sito, but we decided that Carl was up for the challenge. With a full tank of gas, all we had to do was stay off the shore for two hours while we waited for the current to change to take us home. making the best of this now. We've come in and we're making like six knots, just barely idling Carl. And so we're just floating and letting us float in for now. And Ty is fishing. Why? So it lubricates it as it goes down. Okay, so we've got to go between those two pylons up there. We're just waiting for the ferry to exit because they're going all across the quadra. Then we're going to head on in. Carl brought us in. Ty brought us in. We're chilling. Now we're taking a moment. It was stressful. In our table for the first time. <laughs> Sweet. We decided just to have some beers last night. 
when we got back instead of trying to worry about the transmission. Um, so this morning making a good greasy meal. About to put the bacon down the toilet. Bacon grease. A fisherman taught my family this, that it helps lube the toilet up and keeps it running nice and smooth. A lot easier to pump. Where are you going? Fishing. Gone. Gone fishing. You gonna listen to John Prine? No. We'll just sing it. Yeah, we'll just sing it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, catch us a big one. Catch five. Oh yeah. Maybe. <laughs> she doesn't like idling. She wants to go. Yeah, she wants to be full Carl, throttle so all the fast. time. Carl. Guys are out fishing. I'm gonna put some new ATF wood. Where'd it go? Brand new one and grab some this morning from Crappy Tire. We're gonna try first just doing the transmission flush. Um, we've already Tyler already drained it. I'm just gonna put new oil in. Just looking at the manual and it's recommending. This is the one we've got. Focus. Um, 0.55 liters, so 550 milliliters. Um, Good thing I don't do a ton of baking. So this is the ATF fluid that I drained. It's supposed to be pink. Um, I mean it's still a bit pink, but you can kind of see all this black in it. This is what happened last year with spray, is that it was basically eating at the clutch cone instead of engaging fully. Um, don't know necessarily if that's the case here, but either way, we lost forward and reverse within a minute and getting some weird squealing noises. And yeah, it did not, it sounded super clunky. So, um, gotta figure that out now. in the bilge right under the transmission. I'll have to ask Tyler if he had seen it previously. But it's got red on it, so it's clearly from the engine. Um, it almost looks like, see it's like worn in this one corner here. I don't know, <laughs> what the heck. I think I know I don't know why this happened, but this little guy is supposed to go right here and here. And I noticed this because this shaft usually sits out here. And this little thing is what makes the shaft transmission turn the shaft because it's locked in here. So the transmission was engaging, but not actually turning turning the shaft um, because they can't talk to each other. So why the fuck did this fall out? And the whole shaft has moved backwards like an inch. Really interesting. But I feel pretty good about figuring that out. I FaceTimed my dad to get his opinion. They were out sailing on their boat. But you'll know when you when you pull the shaft up and it if it doesn't match up with that hole, then it's out of alignment. Right. So it probably vibrated itself loose on your trip up and yeah. with things you've done. It made me like just like 
How did we get up here? <laughs> I was thinking yeah. the same. How did you make it from Vancouver? It's like a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> and what I'm concerned about is, is the way your propeller or shaft is oriented. It's on quite a steep angle down. Yeah. And so if it comes loose, there is a chance that it could just drop right out of the boat. Engine work quickly stopped when the boys came home with dinner. thing about living at the marina as a commercial diver is that I get constantly thrown jobs so um, I'm just waiting on uh, some parts for this float house I'm diving on today and I got asked to do a couple more uh, zinc checks and bottom cleans while I was standing around in my suit so I'm um, feeling a little bit better about all the boat costs when I can keep making cash money <laughs> diving so now back to engine work yeah so i've taken the bolts off here of the coupling and i've never done an alignment on a v drive so i was trying to research it and everything kind of makes it seem like it's the same in that i have to separate these flanges and look at something in here that's like a tenth of a I don't know, millimeters, <laughs> to measure that it's even once the shaft's in, but it doesn't really make sense to me because, I mean, they're together right now, but it's stuck, so I got the bolts out, and I, I can't figure out for the life of me how to now get um, this, this coupling off the transmission flange, so um, I'm gonna stop for today because I haven't really been I haven't really got anything done past this and I can just need to like sit on and think about it for a day or so um maybe my dad wants to come and help <laughs> how'd it go when you tried not like that they don't even need the coupler puller thing hmm. Oh man, I wanted to do it. I'll do the last bit. Oh, I got it. Amazing work you've done there. Something shaved off in there. Oh, it just filled up with shit. It's when just it was gunk. Spinning. Yeah. Okay, so let's see where these dimples are. It definitely wore grooves. Yeah. Oh, but there's the big dimples. Okay. Why is like is that? What is that, though? Shavings of shit. From the transmission? Shaft is back in. We decided to recess it back to the paint mark, like it's supposed to be. And keys in. We checked the alignment and it seems good. Um, i just leave it for now. Just <laughs> <laughs> spit on something. Grace, hey. Well, that was a fun episode. <laughs> That's good, though. Well, that was a good episode. Uh, filled with all sorts of chaos and debauchery. And learnings. And learnings and screwing up, as per usual. Carl is the real MVP, though, of this whole weekend, so... Brandon, a close second. Oh, yeah, yeah, a close <laughs> second. Jeez, thanks for just throwing me under the bridge there. Under the bridge under, under the, bridge? the bus? Under the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Watch it. Yeah. Propeller. Check for, yeah, <laughs> check for a line around the prop. Yeah. Oh, I go down there. I mean, you were I mean, diving you under dive there. On it? Yeah. We'll do it again. Yep. Would you do it again? 100%. Okay, see ya. Maybe in a couple it. weeks? Yeah. Stay tuned. Until then.